coronavirus. You know, the Democrats, they want so much control over everything. Okay, it's not about you, it's about them. You know, they're stuck on the big eye. Look what I did, look what I can do. Uh, they hate Trump so bad, okay, because he interferes and stops their evil plans, what they want to do, okay. It makes me wonder if the Democrats got with China and made the coronavirus. I mean, anyone that says an unborn baby does not have a right to live, uh, how fast would they uh, kill a person? Look at it. There's rumors about old people. If they're this old, they're really not going to do much for them as far as health care. You know, Joe Biden and the rest of the Democrats, they're good for business. Good biz good for business for China. Bad for business for the United States. You know, you look at these old cars from the 50s and the 60s. You know, they still have the original paint and the paint looks good. And nowadays, you look at a car maybe from 86 until now. You look at the paint, it's either faded, it's peeling off, the clear coat's peeling off. You know why that is? It's because the Democrats think they're environmentalists, but they're not. So they enforce environmental laws, they don't change the paint. That's why the paint ain't worth the shit on cars these days. Oh, they say it damaged the ozone. Oh, that's just a theory. They do not have proof of it. Okay? That's just another way to start something, some kind of research, so they can tax the American people to get money out of them. Okay? I mean, if they're worried about the ozones. Uh, look at the commercial jetliners when they fly before they land. They start dumping their fuel tanks over the city. You know that long black trail you see behind that commercial airline? That's dumping. That's them dumping raw fuel into the air. Not too long ago, they flew over Cudahy, California. All along that path, they dumped raw fuel onto children in school on the playground. Yes, it, they all got wet. It came down like rain upon them. Okay, so that proves to you their environmental crap is garbage. Uh, because that's a lot more pollution being dumped in the air, but to make the car drivers, uh, small emission, do the emissions test on their cars. Okay, they, they're always telling the car companies what to do, uh, as uh, far as emission control. These people don't know how to work on a car. They probably don't even know how the car functions. All they know, they put the key in the slot and turn it on and go. Besides, they're rich. They can buy a new car every year. Cash. You can't. Not many people can do that. And what I think about President Kennedy, sometimes I wonder if our own government didn't kill him. Yeah. Vietnam War. You know, Vietnam wanted to end the war and I don't know, maybe they were in negotiations with Kennedy or something like that. But, you know, Vietnam War was good for business. Oh, yeah. It was good for the business that made the ammo. It was good for business that made the trucks and the tanks. 
the artillery, the buttons on the uniforms, the uniforms. Look at look at the chain of money along. People are making money. They were going to lose. So, and the Democrats are the ones who keep making up these laws that you must have this, you must have that. They're nothing but tyrants, control freaks. You know, you ask some of the churches, those over controlling is a form of witchcraft. We got a bunch of witches in running our country. So, you know, when you're going down a freeway speed, that's, the, that's when your car has the cleanest emissions. You know, all, the only emission test you really need is a certified tune-up by a good mechanic who signed a piece of paper. This motor's running on all cylinders. This is the best it'll do. Okay? I mean, 1960s, the cars had two rubber plugs, and the exhaust tailpipes would burn white. Okay. Now they got all this other stuff, electronic control stuff. If something fails, it causes that vehicle to, to uh, fail the smog test. So it's a simple two rubber plugs probably cost you three dollars to make. Uh, versus thousands of dollars of equipment. I don't think uh, I know people who own uh, <coughs> smog shops emission they do the emission test Yeah, a lot of them said The old cars Pass the emission test than these brand new ones Okay, that's because the Democrats keep uh, Telling the car companies what to do you know what they do they more better gas mileage, change the compression and things like that. So, yeah, it would not surprise me. Your old, your own little uh, socialists and Democrats are the ones who who uh, got with China probably invented the coronavirus. I mean, anyone says kill a baby in their ninth month, uh, who knows what they do just to keep control. Oh, yeah, they want to beat you down and things like that. Huh? I mean, people can't walk down the street without getting harassed by employees of the government, you know, the police department. Hey, you look like you're drunk. And uh, they're just making up lies and things like that. And that person's not drunk or on drugs and the hot cops are screaming at them. No, uh-uh. Auto insurance? Yeah. That's a money racket. We need to pass a law. They can't pass something into law anymore where uh, a business is going to make money off it. You know, think about it. You don't have insurance. Police department gets $1,000 out of you. They impound your car. The tow truck company is going to get money from you for the impound fees. The insurance company is going to make money off you. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yep. Go government for profit. Yeah. But yet, we got people like a bomber. Well, and the, recently their kids were busted smoking marijuana. It's probably a little pat on the hand. Don't do that no more, okay? But if it was your kids, oh boy, you'd be in big trouble. And the ones that are living in our country are the ones who, uh, are bringing in the crystal meth and heroin and things. Anyhow, yeah, believe me, man, just keep control. The socialists and the Democrats would do anything. It makes me wonder, you know, Trump had the coronavirus if they didn't have people around him that they knew had the virus. Can't trust Big Brother. You know, uh, say you own some property, whatever, and you do a room addition, and next thing you know, somebody's out there. Hey, you didn't have a building permit. You got to tear it down, whatever. Or you have a trailer parked there. Oh, you can't have that there. 
you own the property, but they changed some of that, these laws because of Trump. Now, if you got over an acre, you can have uh, two mobile homes on your property. But it wasn't like that uh, years ago. So when people owned property, they put a trailer on it. Next thing they know, they were being red tagged. And who's all behind that? You're all the Democrats. All right, anyhow. Yeah. They're not going to tell us the truth. Sometimes I wonder how come they haven't found a cure for cancer and AIDS. I wonder if they don't use it in a form of population control. Okay. I don't think they're for Americans anymore. There's about who they can bring in and use you to support them so they can get more money out of you. They get a little bit and the rest of it goes in their pocket. These illegals, a lot of them don't come from a poor country. They'll say, oh, like Mexico is a poor country. No, Mexico is not a poor country. YouTube, the richest cities in Mexico. I'm sorry. Uh, the Philippines close to uh, be a poor country, but they have some car plants down there. It's not about us. It's about them and control. All those that hate Trump, okay, this is because they own businesses and uh, I don't know, maybe uh, Trump's more opportunities for bringing in new business into our country. Maybe you open up a new business, which would be competition with someone else, and they and the ones that don't like Trump don't want that. The biggest scam in our country now is environmental bullshit, okay? All right, anyhow, I think the... And anyways, if you're going to go to a Trump rally, you know, it's a shame, but you're taking this risk. All the Trump haters, you know, this recently a Trump supporter got shot. But you don't know if the Trump haters are going to be at that rally knocking the windows out of your car. So, you can sh show your support at the polls, because you don't go, it don't mean you're, you don't like Trump. You can show your support for Trump and vote for him on election day. All right. And besides, uh, isn't it about time we got some pretty ladies in the White House? I mean, looking at these old prunes we've seen, wrinkles upon wrinkles. Oh, yuck. Or you can't tell what it is. All right, anyhow. Oh, yeah, Trump's wife is beautiful. Yep. Yeah, I think his daughter would make the next great president. Ladies, that's your next first female president right there. All right, bye.